Hey guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix no delivery available error at checkout on Shopify. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. Now, how do we fix this issue? Well, the thing with this issue, it actually means that you haven't set up the necessary uh, settings here, which includes the shipping details. So what you need to do is you need to go to Shopify admin uh, dashboard here. You want to go to your settings at the bottom left and you want to go ahead and click on shipping and delivery at the left panel here. Now in here, what we need to do is we need to go to shipping. So by default, you have your general shipping rates here, which in this case includes domestic and international. But in some cases, if a country is not included on your shipping here, or if you haven't uh, used this before, then in this case, they won't be able to purchase an item on that specific region. So let's go and click on our current uh, profile here. So as you just give me an example here, currently my uh, shipping location here is on the following country, as you can see right now, but also sh shipped internationally on the following countries, which in this case is going to be standard international. Now, what you need to do here is you need to indicate the uh, shipping rates for you. So you can go and click on the dot icon here, click on edit rate. And from here, choose your price and minimum price here and the maximum price if you need to set a limit as well. You can choose the shipping rate here as well. And also, if you want to go and add another rate, you can click on add rate here. Now, in order for you to start using uh, the uh, following uh, sh uh, shipping, what you need to do is you need to add a uh, something or a region to your market. So let's go to go to markets here. So by the way, markets and shipping is actually uh, connected. So you need to, if you order for you to use a specific uh, shipping here, you need to adjust a few things on your market. Now, in this case, like what I told you, we have uh, the following or uh, country here. And we also have the international. Now, if you want to add a market, so just give you the idea here, let's go and click on add market. And maybe we want to add a country that is not included in our international. So maybe we want to make a uh, market for, let's just say, just search for this country here. So if you can't search for it, you could go and click on the search. So let's type it in here. And let's go and click on search. If you don't see it in here, just type in Phoebe. Yeah. So this one, let's go and select this one. And maybe I want to say this is going to be Asia ph so we want to create a specific region for that but you can add other countries here or regions here if you want to but i just wanted to give you an example let's go and add this one let's go and click on add market and it should create the market for us now all you need to do is you need to configure this so let's go and add shipping here and you could go ahead and uh, basically adjust your shipping profile so you need to go to shipping and use this specific uh market here but let's go to our language and domains here. If you want to change the language for your store in that specific region, or you have your products that is, uh, in this case, exclusive for this one, if you want to include all of them or if you want to exclude. So by default, all your all of your product is going to be included in here. You can change the price here as well. It will automatically use the currency for that specific country. And yeah, so in this case, all we need to do next is you want to go ahead and go to your store settings here, adjust your payments if you wanted to, and you need to also adjust your... Uh, taxes as well set that up but at the very top right you have inactive so you want to click on it and what you need to do is you need to follow the following options so this market can be activated because it's missing the shipping rates so let's go and click on add rates here and we'll reject because it's shipping and delivery and from here what we need to do is let's go and click on create new profile and maybe i want to say this is going to be asia p dash ph Let's go and click on the option for add shipping zone. So you can choose your zone here if you want. So here I've just chosen the country. Let's go and click on done to add it. Let's go and click on add rate here and add our price. So just an example, I'm going to add this one. Click on done. So you can change the rate type here and shipping rate. You can go and choose that one. For now, let's go and click on done. This is just an example. And let's go ahead and click on save here. Now, in this case, what we need to do next is we need to go to markets and want to go and choose the market that we just recently created. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the inactive button at the top right here. And let's go ahead and switch this to active. Click on save at the very top here. And we now have our market active. Now, let's go ahead and go back to shipping delivery just to make sure that we have our profile. So we have Asia PH here. Go ahead and click on it. Google add products here. Go and select all the products if you want. Click on done to add the products. You can even manage your products here as well if you want. Let's go and click on save. 
and from here on you should be good so basically what you need to do is you need to add a shipping profile in order for you to use that or in this case to ship to that specific country so most likely the problem itself is from your shipping details but in this case that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to nft inspo thank you for watching